Ralph Waldo Trine was a key player in the New Thought movement, a trailblazing author in the early 20th century whose writings significantly shaped the philosophy of personal empowerment and spiritual awakening. His works are like a beacon, illuminating the path to self-discovery and spiritual enlightenment. Ralph Waldo Trine's book, In Tune with the Infinite, crafted in the 1800s, serves as an age-old friend, revealing a profound secret of life. Picture Trine as a sage, a bearer of wisdom about the intricate bond between our thoughts and the cosmos. He invites us on an enlightening expedition to unravel this mystical connection. Envision Trine's teachings as a quest for hidden treasure. He guides us to understand that our thoughts are more than mere reflections. They are pathways leading to wondrous destinations, much like a map guiding us to buried riches. He elucidates that the universe is an entity that responds to our innermost thoughts and feelings not just a vast expanse filled with celestial bodies. Despite its age, in tune with the infinite, remains remarkably relevant in our modern, hectic world. Amidst our daily bustle, Trine's book emerges as a sanctuary of tranquility, inviting us to pause and ponder our role in the grand scheme of the universe. He teaches us that harboring positive thoughts can transform our lives ushering in waves of positivity and growth. Trine takes us by the hand, leading us through an exploration of how our minds can cultivate happiness and serenity. His book opens our eyes to a world seen through a spiritual lens, offering a fresh perspective on our existence and our connection with the cosmos. With each page, we embark on a journey of spiritual awakening, discovering inner peace and a deeper sense of fulfillment. Let's dive deeper into the law of attraction, a concept that Ralph Waldo Trine brings to life in a way that's both fascinating and practical. Think of it like learning to be a magician of your own life, where your thoughts have the power to shape your world. Imagine you have a superpower, one that lets you pull good things towards you just by thinking about them. That's what Treen is talking about. He says our thoughts are like magnets. When we think about things we love and want, it's like sending out a signal. The universe picks up on this signal and like a friendly genie, starts bringing those things closer to us. Trin teaches us that it's not just about daydreaming or wishing. It's like planting a garden in your mind. If you plant seeds of happiness, hope and courage and believe in them, you'll see them grow into beautiful things in your life. It's like nurturing these seeds with the water of your belief and the sunlight of your positive energy. But here's where it gets even more interesting. Trine explains that this isn't just about getting things for ourselves. It's also about creating a wave of positivity that can spread to others. It's like when you smile at someone and they smile back. Your positive thoughts can have a ripple effect making not just your day better, but also someone else's. And this isn't just wishful thinking. Trini backs it up with real wisdom. He suggests practical ways to use this law in our daily lives. For example, he advises starting each day by thinking about something we're grateful for. This simple act sets a positive tone for the whole day. It's like starting the day with a dose of happiness that keeps growing. Diving into the law of attraction, as presented by Ralph Waldo Trine, there's an interesting and often overlooked aspect that adds depth to our understanding of this concept. Trine, in his time, was at the forefront of a shift in thinking, a precursor to what we now call the New Thought Movement. This movement was revolutionary in the way it linked human thoughts to the fabric of the universe a concept that was quite radical for the 19th century. Trine's ideas about the law of attraction weren't just philosophical musings. They were in sync with emerging scientific thoughts of his time. During the late 1800s, 
scientists were just beginning to explore the electromagnetic nature of the universe. They were discovering that everything in the universe, including our thoughts, is made up of energy. This scientific backdrop gave a whole new credibility to what Treen was saying. Treen was suggesting that our thoughts have an energy that interacts with the universe's energy. It was a bold claim then, but now it's something that modern science is starting to acknowledge. Quantum physics, for instance, talks about how the observer can affect the observed, a principle that echoes Trine's idea of how our thoughts can influence our reality. Another fascinating aspect is how Trine's ideas resonate with ancient wisdom. Long before In Tune with the Infinite was written, many spiritual traditions around the world, from Hinduism to Native American beliefs, spoke about the power of thoughts and intentions in shaping our lives and the world around us. Trina, perhaps unknowingly, was echoing these ancient teachings, bridging the gap between old wisdom and new scientific thought. So when we talk about the law of attraction as presented by Treen, we're not just discussing a philosophical idea. We're exploring a concept that connects ancient spiritual wisdom, 19th century scientific curiosity, and modern quantum physics. It's a fascinating blend of thought that adds a deeper, more profound layer to our understanding of how we can shape our reality with our thoughts. As we delve into the teachings of Ralph Waldo Trine in In Tune with the Infinite, we embark on a profound journey of spiritual development. This journey, as Trina illustrates, is more than mere growth. It's a transformation. He gently guides us from the narrow corridors of ego to the expansive realms of interconnectedness, akin to stars woven into the vast tapestry of the galaxy. Imagine embarking on a trek up a towering mountain. With each step upwards, your perspective broadens. The ascent allows you to see beyond the immediate surroundings, offering a view that encompasses more than just your path. This metaphor captures the essence of Trine's guidance, a journey that elevates us beyond our daily concerns, offering a glimpse of our role in the grand scheme of life. Trine proposes an intriguing idea. Each of us is a mirror reflecting a fragment of the infinite. Picture ourselves as pieces of an immense puzzle, each holding a crucial part of a greater image. Treen encourages us to see beyond our existence, to recognize our place in a grand, intricate mosaic of life. Embarking on this path of heightened consciousness is akin to being a detective in our own lives. Trine prompts us to introspect, to understand the depths of our thoughts, emotions, and actions. It's about uncovering the layers of our being to grasp the broader narrative of our existence. Trina advocates for venturing beyond our comfort zones, likening it to savoring new cuisines or immersing ourselves in unfamiliar music. This exploration broadens our understanding, linking us more closely to the diverse tapestry of life and the shared human experience. One of Trine's most compelling teachings is the exploration of nature. He suggests that by observing the natural world, we gain profound insights into ourselves and the cosmos. Like watching ocean waves rhythmically connected to the moon and tides, we begin to perceive the intricate web of connections that bind us all, revealing the unseen threads that interlink every aspect of the universe. In our exploration of Ralph Waldo Trine's profound teachings, we encounter an enlightening concept, the power of love and altruism. Trine unveils the truth that love transcends mere emotion or virtue, it emerges as a formidable force capable of transformative connections with the infinite. Picture love as a radiant golden thread weaving through every heart, binding the world in a tapestry of unity and empathy. This thread, according to Trina, 
is incredibly potent, drawing us closer to the essence of the universe. He enlightens us that love is more than a feel-good sensation. It's an act of tapping into a cosmic energy as ancient as the cosmos itself. Delving deeper, there's scientific backing to Trine's perspective on love. Research indicates that acts of love and kindness can alter our brain chemistry. Engaging in compassionate acts triggers the release of oxytocin, known as the love hormone. This biochemical reaction not only uplifts our spirits, but also forges stronger bonds with those around us. It's as if our bodies are encouraging us, signaling that kindness is a path worth pursuing. Triner advocates for selflessness as a lifestyle, akin to nurturing a garden. Each act of kindness is a seed that blossoms into something profoundly beautiful. The hidden magic here is the dual benefit of altruism. It's not only the recipients who gain from kindness, we are subtly transformed. Every compassionate deed molds us into more empathetic, compassionate beings, attuning us more closely to the world's rhythms. Trine posits that love and altruism are the keys to unlocking a more profound cosmic understanding. Embracing the world through a lens of love clarifies our vision, revealing the intricate web that connects all life. This perspective fosters an understanding that by aiding others, we're essentially nurturing our souls. In a world often preoccupied with material gains and competition, Trine's teachings stand as a poignant reminder of love's transformative power. He calls us to shift our focus from personal gain to generosity and giving. This realignment not only connects us with the infinite, but also uncovers a peace and purpose far beyond materialistic fulfillment. Love, as elucidated by Trine, transcends emotion. It is a pathway to a life enriched with deeper connections, fulfillment, and a harmonious union with the universe. In Tune with the Infinite by Ralph Waldo Trine is more than just a book of profound ideas. It's a practical guide filled with tools for everyday living, a manual for harmonizing with the universe's vast rhythms. Trine introduces meditation as a key tool, but it's not about complex rituals or specific postures. He presents meditation as a simple yet profound act of connecting with our inner selves. It's about finding a quiet spot to sit still, to listen, and to be in the moment. In these moments of silence, we can hear the whispers of our deeper self, feel the pulse of the world around us, and even sense the rhythm of the infinite. Meditation, as Trina points out, is a holistic practice. Scientific research supports this, showing that regular meditation can reduce stress, enhance focus, and strengthen the immune system. It's akin to pressing a reset button, rejuvenating both the mind and the body. Another invaluable tool from Trine's spiritual toolbox is the practice of kindness. Trine teaches us that kindness is more than just being nice. It's a way of forging connections with others and the universe. Each act of kindness creates ripples extending well beyond the immediate moment. Interestingly, scientific studies reveal that performing acts of kindness releases dopamine a feel-good chemical in our brains, suggesting that nature itself rewards our benevolence. Trine also emphasizes the power of a positive outlook. He advises us to acknowledge challenges, but to approach them with hope and the willingness to learn. Simple practices like starting the day with gratitude or reframing obstacles as opportunities can illuminate our paths, keeping us aligned with the infinite. In Tune with the Infinite is more than a book. It's akin to a wise friend, guiding us to a new understanding of ourselves and the universe. It opens our eyes to the immense power of our minds and our intrinsic connection 
to everything around us. Trine illuminates the idea that we're not merely adrift in the universe, we're an integral part of it, with our thoughts and emotions intricately woven into a larger cosmic tapestry. He teaches us that our minds are akin to magic wands, capable of transforming our thoughts into reality. This transformation isn't about wishful thinking, it's about belief and action, about aligning our desires with our deepest convictions to manifest our aspirations. Through Trine's insights, we gain a deeper appreciation of our inner power and our ability to harmonize with the universe's wisdom and energy. It's a realization of our role in a grand, magnificent scheme where each of us can craft a life filled with joy, peace, and fulfillment. As we reflect on Trine's profound teachings in In Tune with the Infinite, we emerge with a transformed outlook on life and our role in the cosmos. His message is enlightening and empowering, revealing that the key to shaping our existence and tapping into the universal energy lies within our minds. Trine empowers us to transcend passivity, encouraging us to become architects of our destinies. Trine's wisdom transcends conventional self-help. It invites us to harmonize with the universe's rhythm. By aligning our thoughts with positive energy, we enhance not only our lives, but also contribute positively to the world. His teachings are an invitation to embrace life with purpose, love, and a profound connection to the infinite.